Hey, it's Heather, and today is the last day of two spectacular weeks out here in the North Fork. But it's a little cloudy, a little chilly, and that's good because it gives me a great excuse to make Manhattan clam chowder. Now that's a great summer dish because the clams are ready, but it's hot. So to me, it's perfect for those cloudy days. You can take a walk on the beach, put some in a thermos, even into the fall, really delicious. Uh, here's what I'm gonna start with. These are the basic ingredients, very simple. First order of business, heat up our pan, put a little olive oil in. And you don't have to add extra things, but I have them on hand, so I'm just gonna get it going anyway. Uh, of course, some onions, just a little. So I have fresh tomatoes here. You do not have to use fresh tomatoes. You can just use canned. I'm gonna add a can of diced tomatoes later. But I have them on hand, it's August. I'm gonna throw them in the pot. Now this is the start of my soup where I'm gonna cook the clams first. You can use um, fresh clams and shuck them. You could use a can of clams. I'm gonna sort of split the difference. I'm gonna cook my clams in advance. You have here my uh, scrubbed clams. Little Necks is what I use. And I have here about a, a, a dozen and a half. So that's going. And I'm just going to put them in. They should be closed. They should be heavy. Um, if they are open, they're not alive. And uh, sorry, you, you, you got to cook them live. Now, to this pot, I'm going to add a little white wine. Uh, you could use red. It's going to affect the color if you use red. Same taste. Give it a little stir. I also will add water. And now I'm just going to cover it, give it a little shake, and uh, I want them to cook until they are just open. Mm, seven, eight minutes. So now I'm just going to take the shells out of the pot and I'll be leaving this broth. And what this broth is going to really serve as, uh, in a lot of recipes they use jarred clam juice, you see it everywhere. So this is going to be our own little homemade clam juice. The first order of business, we're going to take the um, clams out of the shell. Clam shells might be a little hot. Just take it out. And now I have a stylistic choice to make. How fine do I want my clams? I would say you could leave them whole, but that's pretty big clams. Again, it's what you like. If you like it a really fine mince, chop them up fine. If you want it a little chunky, leave it big. I have my pot of broth, and theoretically, I could just take all my ingredients here and put it back in there. Um, that'll work, but I like to do soup in a different way. I like to start with some, you know, sauteed vegetables. So what I'm gonna do is take the broth out of my pan and like I said, you're not going to necessarily go to the edge. You can see it. It's settled for a while. If I see a little sand at the bottom, I'm going to stop. But this is good. The clams were very clean. My gosh, it's excellent, in fact. All right, so I'm going to saute my vegetables, but I'm not just going to saute them in oil. No, nope. a traditional component of chowder, Manhattan and otherwise, is pork, a little bacon. So we're going to... Just two slices. I have regular old American bacon cut up fine. I'm going to start by sauteing that off. Now, of course, you don't have to use bacon, but nothing like a little pork to get the party started. And I think pork and clams is a really old and lovely uh, match. So, all right, I'm going to put in some onions, just like one, put a large one. Celery, two ribs, and uh, green bell pepper. So now I'm going to add potatoes. What would chowder, Manhattan or otherwise, be without potatoes? I have here Yukon Gold. They're local. Use whatever sort of um, starchy potato you like. And I'm just going to put them in. And now for that controversial ingredient, controversial you say, tomato. People in New England didn't really take the tomato in their chowder. Uh, I'm not sure this chowder started in New York. Uh, maybe Rhode Island with the influx of Portuguese and Italian families who used tomato. So to sort of knock it, apparently, back in the day, uh, the New England people called it Manhattan or Coney Island um, chowder. Well, that's fine by me. So in go my tomatoes. I have here, like I said, fresh and canned. Diced tomatoes, juice and all. You can add a bay leaf if you like. I'm not going to. Now it's time for our broth. Because we want all these vegetables to cook in the broth and in 
goes. And I'm just going to check again. There might be a little sand at the bottom. Boom. Don't pour it all the way out, just slowly. It's been about 20, 25 minutes. See what we got going. We're going to test done this all based on the potato because everything else is pretty much cooked. Take a little piece of potato out. And, uh, you know, the best way is to taste it. Hmm, delicious. It can go a little longer, and it will. But now I'm going to add my clams. And, you know, there's a little juice in there. We like that. Stir them in. I'm also going to add parsley. Now, this could use a bit more liquid. So I'm going to add water. And then we're going to let it go, I don't know, another 15 minutes. You want the flavors to melt. All right, here I have my hearty Manhattan clam chowder. Nothing special, nothing fancy. Potatoes, celery, clams, tomatoes, and it makes a wonderful, wonderful meal. Uh, perfect as the weather starts to change. It gets a little cooler, but the clams are still really in season. Absolutely delicious. Today, I'm not doing wine. I'm doing Greenport's own beer. They have a microbrewery here selling their uh, beer in 64 ounce growlers. Now you can also get it right there at their shop, uh, but this is how we got it. Quite delicious. So I'm going to take a little taste of this lovely ale. Delicious. Enjoy my soup. Very nice pair. What a way to end a vacation. For wines, for recipes, for much, much more, please hit my website, sogood.tv. Thanks.